During the interview, Lil Jojo was gagging about the street ties related to his BDK hit song in which he reiterated his song wasn't a diss to all the BDs. It was aimed at 300 with Lil Dirt and Reese Nim. He also cleared up the small talk about the song being called 300K, not BDK, and wishes for everyone to address it as so. Joseph went on to state he wasn't a rapper, he was just a young street dude from Inglewood who would just like to go to the studio and make hits. Emotional effects, which is the theory and ways in which a negative interaction could trigger emotional communication. As others communicated, the more JoJo interacted. The death margins and Chirac were finna catch up to Lil JoJo. After returning from a food joint in West Inglewood, a member spotted Lil Reese in the passenger side of another vehicle. The last time Jojo slid on Reese was on 66 and Normal, but Reese wasn't on scene. Joseph wasn't going to let Reese slip away this time, so they began chasing Reese through low life territory, blocks from Lamron. After they were not so successful in catching Larice, they turned off on 65th and Normal, which is 300 territory. They then turned down Stewart and made their way to Wooga World on 74th and Harvard. He was very determined to catch Lil Reese and on September 4th of 2012, he got his chance. Him, Billy, and Swag, and another finally caught Lil Reese on 66 and Normal at Reese's father's house. At the approach, Larice, they began shouting back and forth at each other in which you could hear Larice mumble, I'ma kill you. However, Larice never got to fulfill out his wish to kill Lil Jojo. After he left Lamron, Lil Jojo headed back to 69th in which Swag dropped him off on 7th and Stewart where he began to shoot dice with his fellow gang members. Lamron wasn't the only beef that Jojo got into. In one of his songs, he dissed J-Rock from a and in which they spoke of revenge. I won't say names, but after Lil Jojo was killed, CPD received information on the killer of Joseph Coleman. In a sealed record, a CPD investigation, it revealed Lil Jojo's killer was from Halstead. While there was not enough sufficient evidence to charge him, they asked the feds to indict him on weapons charges before he is killed by members of Jojo World. And six months later, the feds indicted 12 black disciple members, including who they believe 
kill Lil Jojo. They were federally charged with gun violations and drug trafficking. Listed in the indictment were members from Avenues Lakewood, Ashland, Michigan, Halstead, and one member from AMG, Sean Money Gang. Lil Jojo's alleged killer took a plea deal and received four years and was released in 2016. After his release from prison, he featured in THF Crack music video titled Glacier, where he stood in the background alongside THF members. As many speculate over the death of Lil Jojo, his alleged killer was off the streets for three years, and really nobody knew of the following federal felony conviction that removed him off the streets. The death of Lil Jojo was very impactful to his fans. His memory lives on through his music and memories of individuals that knew him personally. Bless up Lil Jojo. We love you boy. Your memory always alive. Rest in peace. It's like when you live a life there's consequences that come with the territory. We live from monster wolves and we can't be sheep. So at some time, motherfucker gotta clap back, gotta fight back just to survive. Lil Jojo went through a lot trying to survive as a man, but unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. It's really hard to grow up in these streets and become a man at the same time when faced with so many circumstances. And the life that we live and the life that we chose just happened to take us out ourselves. When you fight in a battle, you can sometimes lose a war when you're looking within yourself and you're not dictating the actions that are leading up to the consequences of our decisions. Jojo, boy, I tell you now, you touched a lot of souls. You moved a lot of people. And a lot of motherfuckers look up to you, shorty. You watch it from above, no one can judge you. Just keep, we gonna keep your memory alive, bro. One. Squad shit, D block. I heard niggas snitching, don't get tied up. Tied up. Gate your block, then fired up. Fired up. Raw nigga, just to get my bands up. Home invasion, just to get my grams up. I heard niggas snitching, don't get tied up. Tied up. Gate your block, then fired up. Fired up. Pussy niggas can't roll with us. Roll with us. Smoke them like some dope when we roll up. Roll up. Brick squad, the police can't control us. Niggas fake, we know them and they know us. Big shit, make noise, you heard Rico. No like it, dirty on me everywhere I go. I heard niggas snitching, don't get tied up. Tied up. Get your block, getting fired up.